We're in the Almaviva vineyard and we can see in the distance the Andes. How far are we from the Andes mountains? Oh, we are, no, we are not far, but from the, from the feet, from the bottom of the mountain, not more than 20 kilometers. Uh, so, as you can see, we are very close and, of course, with a very strong uh, effect on the, mm -hmm. on the climate of the, of the terroir. And what is the kind of mountain effect on the, on the climate here? Well, uh, you know, although we have a, a typical uh, dry Mediterranean mm -hmm. climate uh, with all the rains normally concentrated in, in winter and, uh, and, and spring, uh, with the rest of the year quite, uh, you know, quite dry and, uh, and warm, we'll have always a few degrees Celsius less than the rest of the, of the, of the Alley for being so close to the mountain, as we'll have some, some cool wind that mm -hmm. will come from the Andes and that will uh, uh, refresh uh, the nights with always a big difference of temperature between day and night, which in this area will be about 19, 20 degrees Celsius. Excellent. So and if we if we look down here, we've got these more like rounded alluvional mm -hmm. rocks. So can you tell us a bit about where we are in, in Puente Alto mm -hmm. and, and what this used to be? Yeah, in fact, we are located at about four kilometers from uh, far from the from the main uh, river nearby, which is the Damaipo River, mm -hmm. uh, which explains uh, the, the characteristic of the soil that we have here. We speak of uh, classical uh, alluvial soils, but we are in what we call here the third terrace of um, the, of Maipo. That means one of the oldest and one of the the most uh, uh, with more, uh, more, uh, more uh, complex, uh, complexity than, than evolution. That means that we have a certain percentage of, uh, of clay, which will be between 12 to 18 percent, which will not be the, uh, the, the case when you go very close to the, to, to, uh, to the Maipo. Uh, so, and this uh, small amount of clay, uh, especially on the, on, the, on the first 30, 40 uh, centimeters, uh, will help to to uh, to get more complexity and uh, to create to create this exceptional terroir for Puente Alto. Excellent, and this is a very small terroir, isn't it? Because as you can see by the kind of electricity lines, we're actually sort of in the city. It's like the suburbs out of Santiago. So, what's the limit of Puente Alto? How much is planted here, and and how? No one can plant yeah. anymore, really, can in they? In fact, with this <laughs> kind of uh, a very good terroir, is probably. Uh, there's probably more land, uh, uh, but in fact, uh, probably it's a big part of it has been already uh, built with uh, with uh, constrictions uh, and uh, in a certain way victim of uh, urbanization. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's true that the, the the last part of the of the vineyards you know, you know left in this area uh, is every day uh, more limited. So we speak probably uh, today of about. Uh, of about uh, 300 hectares and, uh, and probably uh, not uh, not much more than than this uh, than this area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it really creates a very certain kind of do, like a, a very specific place. Yeah, that's uh, that's a specific place uh, just by uh, by itself by the terroir, and of course uh, the fact that it's uh, that it's so limited uh, uh, make all the wines coming from here they are more scarce mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Excellent. And can you describe, I mean, we've got the nice Cabernet grapes here, which everyone's harvesting right now. <laughs> um, this is a very small late harvest yeah, bunch. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> this is a grapillon. Eh? This, this is very, yeah. But what is, the, what is the taste of Cabernet from, from this region? Well, uh, here we, uh, you know, most of the time we'll have some, uh, some, um, some cassis, some, uh, some small berries fruits, uh, especially at the beginning. Uh, and this will be, you know, the, the cassis will be quite uh, classical of the of the Cabernet Sauvignon from Maipo, um, and then of course uh, with the time it can it will uh, have more uh, more complexities and more evolution with uh, uh, with other uh, with other uh, uh, aromatic profiles. Yeah. Excellent. We're going to go to the winery and taste some soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right.